Uh, let's bring KG and uh, uh, his guest, Big Baby Davis, uh, into the equation okay. tonight from Area 21. You guys both played for Doc Rivers. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Is there anything about Doc's approach to the game um, when it comes to, hey, we got a key piece out here now. It's Blake Griffin at, at this point. Is there anything in his philosophy or what he would tell you guys as a team when you were missing somebody like that? I think Doc's message that we, we both know would be to be ready. You never know when your opportunity is going to come. Um, if you're in the lineup and if you're in the rotation, you especially better be ready. And you better know what we're doing and you better know everything. And if not, uh, next person, opportunity. <laughs> right. And the leash is short, you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, to piggyback what Chuck said, man, they cannot win anything without Blake Griffin. Have they been able to in the, in the past sustain, you know, till he came back or till he's come back from injury? Yes, in the past. But it's a whole new year and uh, new challenges. But, you know, yeah, they're not going to win anything without Blake Griffin. They need Blake Griffin. He's a major part of that team. You know, Big Baby, I see that you helped redecorate the um, Area 21. I like, you know, the Wu-Tang shirt. I see the Big Baby, Baby in the back. You know, the very nice decorations for Christmas. Right. But my question to you, Big Baby, uh -huh. you've been out there. What's yeah. missing? Why they can't win a championship in L.A.? What's your oh, man. It, I just really feel that there's something that's going to have to give. What superstar is going to give that? Right. You I know suppose. what I mean? Right. What superstar is going to give that? I think Chris is in a way that, you know, he has to understand who he's playing with right. and be able to trust more because, mm -hmm. you know, you know, assists and points, you, you got to get a ball up. I feel like you got to get a ball up and have to rely on other people. So making sacrifices. Yes. Yes, most definitely. Okay. You, you know, that's been one of the criticisms of Chris. He over dribbles sometimes. Is, is, is that a fair criticism? Yeah, that's really fair. I think sometimes, you know, you can move the ball instead of bounce it, you know. Uh, and it, just, it gets like when KG would pass me the ball, it made me better. Hmm. When Paul Pierce passed me the ball, it made me better. It gave me so much more confidence. And Chris needs that help. He's not like his friends, Dwayne, mm. LeBron, mm. trying to close games and things like You're a different player. Pass the ball, give the ball up, make other people better Trust so you, they can help you get to where you got to go. Let me, so let me get this straight. Uh, Doc Rivers drew up plays where he took the ball out of Kevin Garnett's hand and Ray Allen's hand and said, give it to Big Baby. Not at all. No, but no. he put the ball <laughs> into our hands. And when we were double, we trusted Big Baby, Eddie House, you know, guys that are <clears throat> supporting cast around us to make shots. And, you know, all that comes from seeing a player put the, put the work mm -hmm. in. You know, you investing in each other. So the trust is there. Yeah, so I think the one players. thing that you probably, as a, as a point guard, there's a, what I call, assist that didn't help me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can, you can over dribble and at, in a clock shot, clock shot is running down and I can't, I can't maneuver, I can't do anything other than shoot the basketball. And then there's plays that allow me to create a flow of the game. Mm -hmm. And now I think that Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, Rondo, for sure, makes passes at times to allow guys to create. So if that's probably one of the things, but the other thing is, you know, in the half court, it becomes a dribble show because that's the mm -hmm. only way they score between Jamal and Chris. That's why Blake, to me, is the key. Mm -hmm. Because Chris, Blake is the one, he's going to have an advantage every night. Mm -hmm. Like Chris, when he plays against Westbrook, Ooh. Parker. Tough. I'm Ooh. trying to think some other point guards who are great in the Curry. Uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Miller, he's not going to have on. an advantage. Right. But Blake is probably going to be the dominant player at his position every single night. So he's the guy, to me, going to take him to that next level. Mm -hmm. But my question for you, uh, Glenn, is do you have as many skinny jeans as Kevin does? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> One leg at a time, Chuck. One leg at a time. Chuck. No, I know. I don't got that many skinny jeans. I'm a, you know, I'm at the big and tall hey. store. I'm, I'm not at the skinny jeans. Hey, let me, let me. Oh, let me go with the cuss card. Again. <laughs>